Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a fake burnout effect. First of all duplicate the clip and rename it to wheel. Now you will need to mask out the wheel in the video. To make a mask you can use, ellipse tool, pen tool or roto brush. But, I prefer and suggest you to use Mocha AE plugin for the best masking and tracking. Once you've finished masking save Mocha AE and close the window. Open mat, and click on create AE masks. This will create a perfect mask on the wheel. As we have a tracked mask on the wheel, we can now apply a twirl effect on it. First what we need to do is, set the anchor point to the center of the wheel. Then create a keyframe on twirl center, and go forward or backward like in my case and center anchor point till the end of the video like this. Then quickly check if anchor point is centered and following the same spot. Now let's create a fake rotation of the wheel. My car is facing to the left so the rotation of the wheel will be set to negative values. If your car is facing to the right set the values positive values. Go to very beginning of the video and set a keyframe there. Then go to very end of the video and as I said I my car facing to left I will make negative value and will set it to minus 9. Change twirl radius to 100. In your case it can be other value so play around until it will look as real as possible. This look weird. We will fix it in a few adjustments. I don't like the twirl radius so I will set it to 90. Now let's add a radial blur to the layer. Here you will need to do the same with anchor point, center it to the wheel then create a key frame and keep it in the center till the end of the video. As you finish centering, change blurriness amount to around 50, or play around until it will make you happy. Now let's bring a burnout green screen video. Apply keylight effect on it, click on eyedropper tool and select the green screen to remove it. Now bring the burnout video to the rear wheel and let's scale and position it perfectly. Create a keyframes for scale and position. Press U on your keyboard to see all keyframes. Play back the video and position it again. Do this till the end of the video. Already cool, let's add some motion blur to burnout layer. Add CC force motion blur. Change motion blur samples to 10. And enable motion blur on your timeline. Now select all layers we were working on and let's pre-compose them into the one layer. Let's add some motion movement. I will use Twitch plugin. Open enable and select. Blur, slide and light. Change amount to 1 and speed 2. You can change to whatever you will find it more interesting for you. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.